it's fast <laughs> because it's very cold and I want to go home.
we have some water and we have some candles. I'm going to start with some questions actually. I have approximately 8,000 questions to complete until next year. I need to do just a tiny bit a day. I need to just, like try to be consistent if with it. Think of me and if you want to drink another coffee, I find out in time. Hello friends, today is third Tuesday, <laughs> my mind is just not being able to focus and I need to try to find a rhythm of work. Today we're not going to hospital because there are heavy rains that have flooded Lisbon, really the whole city I think next to the coastline if you're in Lisbon, hope everyone's okay. The train tracks were flooded and everyone's just kind of advised to not bring cars or anything like that. So, but we need to be productive because I have a presentation Thursday, Thursday at two that I desperately need to get done. I know what I need to do when I'm visualizing the PowerPoint, but I haven't actually started the PowerPoint. I need to do a question set. I'll make a coffee. I have these um, soluble cappuccinos. This is my last one, so I'm gonna do that. I always have to do um, a, a, like a lot of tasks before actually starting to work. It's just like this ritual. We're gonna make the coffee and we're gonna start doing work for the presentation and then it's probably going to be lunchtime at the end of that so thanks for listening to my ramblings <laughs> from internship and I had I had a very rough time because I had a lot to a lot of work to do and we were on minimal resources and so I had to stay there until later. I still wanted to go for a run even though there is it's literally pouring since last time I got lucky and I didn't get pneumonia so now I'm trying it again <laughs> Do any of y'all cats love to jump onto your keyboards if you do have a keyboard? Because I find it really a problem.
got stuck in the elevator, but I was just like, I'm not gonna go by stairs. So I just clicked on my floor again, got lucky. Today was the surgery national, like some kind of meeting. I was only able to make it in the afternoon. Got out late from internship at like 2.30 and I still had to get lunch and then go to the other hospital. So I only got there at like four and we stayed like two and a half hours. And tomorrow morning, there's also gonna be uh, more presentations, so I'm gonna go tomorrow morning again. But right now I'm just so exhausted from the week, the stress, the lack of sleep. I'm ready to take a shower and just do nothing for the rest of the day. I mean, right now it is 8.30, so there's not much of the night left, but still some time to relax. <laughs> Today is Christmas Eve and my whole soul want <laughs> my whole soul wants to just vibe, watch a Christmas movie, do something fun. I went shopping in the morning and I went for a run in the morning and I cannot keep ignoring the fact that I'm gonna have to start working on the report and on the discussion that I'm gonna have with my tutor. I really thought that she was gonna ask me to do it in January, so I was just like, I'm gonna work on it after Christmas. And then when she said, yeah, we'll just discuss it on the 27th, I just physically perished. It's good to get things out of the way and then I can start studying on my own with a clean slate and just not have to worry about this uh, internal medicine rotation. So I have Today, 25th, 26th, and then 27th is a discussion. Then I'm gonna just enjoy my time until the rest of the year ends. And then I'll start working on the 1st of January, studying hardcore. Um, but until then, I have to really get past this report and this discussion. You might be wondering, like, isn't this affecting your Christmas plans? What are you gonna do for Christmas? And I just spend Christmas at home and we are a very tiny family. Sometimes you can feel like you're missing out, like you're, you don't have, you know, a really big support system. You can still have a very happy and very joyful holiday, uh, just doing very comfortable and, you know, enjoying the little things in life that make 
life very cozy and very comfortable but here we are just us and working on our reports and ollie he's been also keeping me company he's just sleeping I also decided to do something that I've been procrastinating on doing for a long time, which is download the app for my smartwatch. So right now, obviously, was the perfect time.
happy new year and happy holidays. Ollie wishes you the very same.